Hello and welcome to Craftiosity, the subscription box of Modern Craft Kits. This month we're working with the fantastic wirework artist Helena Sharpley. Using Helena's designs you'll be sculpting three keys with her template to guide you every step of the way through and then mounting them onto a board with a hook on it so you can pop your keys onto that. I hope you enjoy the tutorial. Inside the kit you'll find your template, paintbrush, wooden hook, white paint, PVA glue, sculpting wire and pliers. Place some scrap paper to protect your table. Paint a coat of white paint across the wooden board including the side edges. To get an even coat apply the paint in one direction then the other to reduce streaky lines. Your pliers have tips for twisting and controlling the wire and the central section will cut the wire. Always be careful using pliers, don't get your fingers caught and make sure you cut the wire away from you in case any little bits ping out. Untie the roll of black wire and cut off the tied section at the end so your wire is straight. Each key is made from one piece of wire so don't cut the wire until the end. We'll start with the central key. On each key start at the top of the stem, so where the stem meets the head of the key or the bow, and leave about one centimetre for the join later. Use the template as a guide and with the pliers bend the wire up to start the bit at the very bottom of the key. Hold the pliers against the corner and push the wire against them to make a clean corner. Continue along using the template as a guide. Use the pliers to make the teeth using the nose of the pliers to push against and use a guide for the width of each tooth. Take the wire down to make the other end of the bit section and back along the stem. This will create a double line. Use the pliers to make further right angles and complete the rectangle of the stem. We'll now wrap the one centimetre left at the start to tie off the wire. Loop the tail around the main wire with your fingers or pliers. Use the pliers to cut away any excess from the join. Remember to cut away from you. Neaten the join with the pliers, squeezing it together. Now make the outside circle of the bow of the key with the wire. Do a large sweeping movement. Using the pattern on the template, curve the wire to make the petal shapes, using the pliers to turn the wire at the internal angles. Loop the wire over the pliers to make a point. Then use the pliers to gently squeeze at the point to make it more pronounced. Do this for all four petals. Use the pliers to bend the wire back on itself to do the small circle and curve the wire round in an anti-clockwise direction. Once you reach the top, use the pliers to bend the wire to the right and retrace around the top petal to the outer circle of the bow. Leave a centimetre of wire for the join and cut the wire. Loop the end around the outer circle wire, tighten and cut off the excess. Use your pliers to squeeze and neaten as before. Now as you've handled your piece, it's likely to come out of place a little, so just use the template and adjust it back into place to complete your first key. Now we'll do the second key. As before, start at the top of the stem and leave an extra centimetre of wire. Follow the pattern along, up, to the right, back down, and then we're going to make the bit of the key. For the two central teeth, use the pliers to bend the wire back on itself, then the tips of the pliers to squeeze the curve together to make a little hook. Finish the bit of the key and take the wire back up the left hand side then turn it left to create the top stem of the key. Towards the head of the key make a u-shape bend in the wire and then we're going to tie off the excess one centimetre of wire now so loop it around the top of the stem with your pliers or fingers and squeeze the wire to join. Carefully cut off the excess from the tail cutting away from you and secure the end of the wire in. Using the template and the pliers, bend the wire around the next section at the very top of the stem and then around the outer edge of the very top of the key. Do the small loop the loop in the centre and the first of the inner loops in the middle. We're just placing the wire next to the previous line so there's no need to join or link them through. Using your fingers, bend the wire around the next two loops in the middle then with the pliers, loop the wire back around the top section of the stem, up and along to the right. Cut the wire, leaving one centimetre to tie off, and wind this around the top of the stem. Cut the excess from the tail and tighten and secure the wire in. 
About now your first coat of paint will be dry, so just apply a second coat to your wooden board. For your final key, start as before allowing an extra 1cm of wire. Follow the template as shown and then start to make the bit of the key. Bending the wire in, making the teeth, bending the wire back in again and then bringing it up. Double back on the bit of the key and along to the left to complete the stem. Turn the wire up, along to the left and then down again to begin the bow or the head of the key. Before starting the bow, tie and cut off the extra 1cm of wire around the piece you currently hold. Using the template as a guide, curve the wire around the outside of the bow of the key, looping it around tightly twice on each side to create the little details. When you reach the bottom, loop the wire back up to create the bottom of the first scroll. And as you did with the hooked teeth of the previous key, use the pliers to squeeze the wire together and then tighten the scroll. Take the wire up to do the top of the scroll in the same way. Then guide the wire back down the outside of your first scroll to do the bottom of the opposite scroll. Do this in the same way and guide the wire back up to do the top of the scroll. At the top, instead of doing a double layer of wire, we'll create the scroll top, then loop the wire up and we'll create the eyebrow at the top of the key. Bring the wire around to the centre and use your pliers to get a neat indent in the middle. Loop the wire around to the other side and we're going to tie the end of the key on the top of the two little loops on the outside of the key. As before, loop around, tighten, cut off the excess wire and use the pliers to neaten. To attach your keys to the board, first of all place the keys onto the wood and decide how to position them. Look at where your top key actually touches the wood, the places where the wire meets it. Pick the key up and apply a thin layer of PVA glue using the nozzle onto those specific touch points. Place your key gently back down onto the wood and push into place. Repeat for all three keys. Don't worry if you get a little bit of extra glue on the wood, it will dry clear. Then leave them until the glue is completely dry. Well done, your key hook is complete. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, subscribe to our channel or subscribe to our newsletter. And if you'd like the full step-by-step -step PDF instructions plus template for this design, you'll find the link below. Thanks for watching.